Hello, welcome to our marketing webinar. I'm Whitney White. I am Director of Marketing for North America. Joining me today, we've got Gary Cotton, who is one of my favorite regional managers, sales managers. Gary, do you want to give us a little bit of background? Yeah, good Good afternoon. Good morning, everybody. Glad you guys could uh, could uh, make it on the, the today's event. Um, I'm the Director of Sales for the, uh, the Western Region, and Looking forward to doing some review on what some of our options are for 3G to 4G and and uh, look forward to working with you with you. Yes. Okay, so as we get started, if you guys will find the GoToWebinar control panel and go to the questions or chat section and just let us know where you're from, that you can hear me okay, that you can see the presentation. I think last week or the week before I accidentally unplugged my computer screen that had the presentation on it so that was fun you stay, you stay, you you stay away from that extension cord with me i moved it <laughs> i planned ahead which great right. with the background we've got some uh technical account managers helping us ask questions and things like that so as you guys are chatting in we can all see it if you have questions or comments please add it in there so we can uh talk to you guys about whatever questions you have um so first thing we want to know we've got isc west coming up in a month and a half march 22nd i'm going to launch a poll i want to know if you guys are coming because i'm going to isc west i think gary are you going to be there yeah i'm sure i'll be there yeah i think we're still working it out on our end but uh the plan right now is for me to be there perfect we started planning the booth and everything like that i'm excited we've got some new things that we're going to show it'll be fun so if you guys will just let us know if you're coming to ISC and if if you're coming, let's meet up, right? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close. You know, it seems like we were just out there, but uh, you know, time's flying flying fast. <laughs> I know. I didn't get to go last year. We helped. We planned it, and then they canceled it and moved it, right? Right, right. They did uh, last year. We did the hotel room for ISC West. We had some stuff set up there. Loved it wild okay we've got lots of people on eric stan jerry david thank you guys for being here okay well let's jump in we are talking upgrades 3g 3g to 4g we want to know have you started upgrading from 3g because if not we gotta we gotta talk <laughs> we got some things to say okay looks like 90 percent, a little over 90 percent of people have started great good Thank you for participating in the polls. It helps us know how to talk to you guys and make it more personal that way. So it's helpful when we know what we're working with. Okay, right around 83% have started upgrading and 17% have not. If you have started upgrading, I'd wanna know what panel you're using. Obviously I'm gonna be biased, right? <laughs> but I wanna know which ones you're using. So let's dive in. Let's first talk about how Upgrading is normal, right? We got to normalize that. When I first started in the industry, I was on, I was a customer service rep for a dealer and I was cold calling for 2G to 3G. <laughs> and I was, ah, oh, those people were angry with us. Let's see, David has a comment. We're still doing 2G upgrades for, for struggling, straggling C24 customers. Yep. David's yeah. in Canada, but David's in That's Canada, so let's Canada. not all freak out. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I figured, I figured. So upgrading is totally normal, and one way that we can look at that is in the cell phone industry, right? Like, how many of you guys still have flip phones? It's just not, it's it's a normal thing to upgrade and to want new technology and current technology. In the cell phone industry, it's kind of been established that every couple of years, you know, there's new tech that you want, new specs, new hardware, all of that. So when it comes to approaching the upgrade conversation with dealers, I think it's 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 normal. It's not something to be fearful of with your customers. It's not something that is abnormal, like, oh, that your old stuff won't work anymore or anything like that. It's just something to be expected. Gary, what do you think when it comes to upgrading? What's been your experience? Yeah, first of all, I, you know, I look at the screen and I've had every one of these phones, right? <laughs> yeah. I remember going back to that very first one and and thinking that was the 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 greatest thing that ever hit the phone industry, the right? Razor. That razor, <laughs> Motorola razor, right? Now now I look at the iPhone 
And how do you live without it? There's so many features and so much of what we do today. And I, I think that relates a lot to, you know, the security, you know, everybody, you know, just a, a traditional security system, arming, disarming used to be what it was all about, but now there's so much more. It's the automation and the, you know, the energy efficiency and just how you engage in your home and how you interface with your home. So, you know, yeah. I think a lot of our consumers just don't know what they don't know, right? So I think there's tons of opportunity to educate them and excite them, you know, um, to, to today's technology. Well, and I think for a dealer too, the new the IQ Panel 4, for example, you can customize it really, really well to your end user, right? So you can say, not only are you upgrading, but if you care a lot about energy efficiency and running an energy efficient home or business, we can help with that. If security yeah. is... A thought or if it's a primary thought you can have two customers side by side with the same panel that have two different focuses energy efficiency and home automation smart home whatever it is so i like that you're able to do something custom but still have one protocol so i, I think did like that razor though that was pretty neat back in the day i had the verizon chocolate that's when i like thought <laughs> I made it with my phone. I actually didn't convert to iPhone until like iPhone 7. <laughs> so yeah. I was still rocking it. And, and then for the Canadians, we do have the Blackberry on, right? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. We do have some comments coming in from Jerry about cost. And that plays in perfect. Obviously, cost is something to consider. So here we have an example of a customer who's got a thousand 3G accounts at $35 a month and 10% attrition. I mean, you do have to consider cost. And I think that it can scare a lot of dealers up front. Um, but as you kind of walk through upgrading to IQ panel, the sooner that the 3G sunset, all of these accounts are going to fall off no matter what, right? Like you don't, whether or not you want them to go away or you're scared to talk to them in fear that they might not want to be a customer anymore, they're going to stop because their panels won't communicate anymore, right? But I'm um, sorry, technical difficulties. But when you look at if you start marketing it and you're trying to get the 3G sense, you know, telling them, hey, we want to do an LTE Band-Aid, what, 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 excuse me, what we call an LTE Band-Aid, um, which would be something like uh, installing a new communicator. What are they called? I'm totally spacing what they're called. Gary, what's a, do you know what I'm talking about? You're not going to know. What is that now? The, one of the LTE band-aids that we refer to, the when you just update universal, the universal communicator, just a, a dialer capture type device, right? Yeah, that's what I. Sorry, my brain is so fried this morning. I'm forgetting words. It's so bad. So forgive me. It's okay. That's why I'm here with. Yes, that's why I have my to Gary. So yeah, so an LTE band-aid would be something like, oh, we're gonna keep the same plastic, but we're just gonna make it keep working. Well, at the end of the day, your customer is still going to have a big, you know, Simon XT on the wall or whatever it is, right? And it's big and bulky. It's no longer current. No matter what kind of marketing efforts you're putting into it, you're still going to have that attrition rate because they're going to be like, that's all I get. I, usually when you say upgrade, you're expecting something more beyond, oh, it still works, right? So when you use IQ Panel 4, yeah, you might see a little bit of attrition there at the beginning. But if you do, this, this graph is based off of upgrading to an IQ panel for $40 a month with the $99 upgrade free fee. The great news is because coming from the cell phone world, right, you're used to paying for your new phone. Like I think my new phone was like what, 800 something gross, like $800, $900 when I bought it, right? But I was willing to pay for it because the features, what I was getting out of it, the value it has in my life, right? So if we say that there's a $99 upfront cost for upgrading your security system, for getting new features, new technology, keeping it current, making it future-proof, all of those different things, over time, you're going to see your cost, actually your revenue increase instead of going away. Um, and you're going to end up saving more money over the five years that your panel works for versus it just dying here at the three at the sunset. Uh, Gary, have you had any experiences with dealers who have switched to IQ panel or used IQ panel in an upgrade scenario and seen some kind of yeah, absolutely. But you know, one of one of the things I want to point out is, 
you know, Whitney's got $99 upfront cost here, right? And and Jerry, I completely agree with cost. Cost benefits are getting difficult, right? I think that's challenging, but I think it's our jobs to educate the dealers on the ROI, right? I think anything we do in life today, whether it's, you know, you know, shopping for sporting goods or, or, or going to the grocery store, right? Or whatever it may be, buying a car, we're looking for a return on our investment and how quickly that, that, that return is, right? So, you know, it's our job to educate the, the consumer on, you know, some of these efficiency features built into these panels, whether it's, you know, your HVAC or, 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 or whatever, right? Lightning control or thermostat control or what, whatever it may be, right? We need to mm-hmm. we need to educate them on that, and and they might be willing to pay more than that ninety nine dollars up front, right? Um, of course, you want the monitoring, you want that that you want to keep that account, but I think the more you educate them on what they can do and and how we solve how the the, the panel and the solution you're offering solves real world problems for them, I think the more out to paying more upfront cost the, the dealers or the consumer is going to be right so um yeah. we, we shouldn't shy away from from educating our customers right 100 percent. jerry also follows up here and says he doesn't have any upgrade experience i think that's not an uncommon thing where dealers this is their first experience with upgrades right with the 3g sunset and he's got, an, in Jerry's instance, he's got a large installed base of Impasa and he's not sure what the path is to upgrade. So Jerry, I wanna shelf that a little bit and I wanna talk to you about how we can help and be a partner as you try to figure out how to upgrade. So pause with that question, but I did wanna make sure you knew we saw it. Um, yeah, so when it comes to using IQ Panel 4 for upgrades, you're gonna have, a low cost of ownership, you're, protect your customer base long term, lower attrition and increased engagement just by the nature of the panel, right? You have, with all the feature sets we've talked about for a couple weeks ago, like using um, Bluetooth touchless disarming, finding out what really is important to your customer and being able to give them that custom option, right? And then um your installs are faster using the uh the install wizard and your diagnostic tools to make sure that you're reducing truck rolls and all of that and you're increasing your customer engagement by using future proof um it's going to be current long term right so through software updates we're able to unlock future features so maybe we haven't even thought of any yet right but you've also got the built-in camera so you're giving your customer we're going to include a camera on the panel and if you like that, we'll come back and install more cameras. Glass break detectors, same thing. Um, even the panel itself, you can come back and do uh, remotes, uh, IQ remotes and things like that. So I feel like when it comes to features, you're kind of educating your customer as well on what features they didn't know they could have, right? So customer, if whatever is important to you, we can make sure your panel is a really good use case scenario for that when you use IQ panel four. Now, I know some of these accounts are really old and maybe hardwired, right? And Gary, I know you are a big fan of the IQ Power G hardwire. Why don't you tell us what you love about this device when it comes specifically to uh, upgrades? Yeah, and, and, and Whitney, I also want to point out, you know, I'm going to try to help Jerry out here too. We make, and I wish we had a the 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 different boxes and the different colored boxes that we we variants that we make with the IQ panel, uh, but we have we have a 433 version, we've got a, a 319 version, we've got these different variants within this panel so that you can you can pull the old and pass a panel or 9047 or whatever it is, you know. Here we go, perfect. So we can I don't think this we can pull that old panel off, swap that panel out, and you can take over all those existing devices. So we've tried to make it as as easy as possible, right? And and uh, is make that installation easy because we we absolutely understand there's costs associated with these these upgrades. It's one of the things I I, I think Whitney and you know all of our staff on this call would agree that we we can't stand these migration periods, right? <laughs> they're yeah. they're bad PR. They're just they're very disruptive, but. Uh, it, at the same time, it gives us that gr- a great opportunity to do those upgrades, get those customers because, and I'm co- totally off topic here, but you know, I don't think I don't think that 
you know, 3G to 4G is the only risk we have with our customers, right? It's not the only threat with your consumer. Your threat to your consumer is, is often, you know, feature sets and abilities and capabilities within, within the solution. So, so we need to look at that. And I, again, I go back to let's educate those customers. And better yet, you know, I, for, for many years, I've gone through this, this whole practice of, you know, what's it cost to maintain a customer, warranted service and all these things, right? And you could really analyze your business and you could break it down and you could say, you know, uh, video, vi vi service on video is costing me this much, service on doorbells is costing me this much or, or percentage of my business, you know, or you can select a, a product and a panel that fixes that. Like we, we understand that, you know, from all the, all the, the, the customers we have and the surveys we do that 33% of all service calls are. So, so we can go ahead and we build that into the panel. Let's fix that right out of the gates and let's start saving you costs. And, and so that kind of feeds into what Jerry says is there's cost, you know, quite a bit of cost, you know, with this, but, you know, we're trying to offset a lot of those costs for you and, and deliver something that, you know, gives you a, a longer term with your customer and, and, and fixes a lot of those problems. So now going back to the Power G wire to wireless module, if you can pull that, that slide up. Whitney, there you go, perfect. So, so we're really excited about this product, right? This gives us the ability to, you know, take over, take over existing hardwired type installations, right? And and for many years we've we've struggled with reliability in the in the in the wireless world. You know, I was just at a conference over the weekend that, you know, the big fear was was wireless. And and so that that's kind of changing with technology like Power G. So you know, you're taking, we take it a step further with a device like this, where we, we're able to capture those hardwired devices and utilize those hardwired devices. But, you know, uh, Dave Poling was, was talking to me about encrypted hardwired sensors, right? And I thought, wow, that's pretty neat. That's kind of, kind of innovative. And, I, and then I, I started thinking about it. I'm like, we kind of already have that, right? So we take that to the next level where we've actually got, you know, our PowerG to wire to wireless module and and we encrypt that so this device is 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 uh it fully encrypts those those hardwired sensors you know just by communicating with the panel so uh pretty exciting device captures eight zones we've got inputs outputs on this thing we can really take over anything you've got and anything you've come across and i think what's really neat especially when you get into like commercial applications with a a, a piece like this is you know, I was, I was thinking about this before we did this presentation and and coming out of a, a commercial event. You know, this is great when you get into those warehouse scenarios and you've got all those bay doors, right? And yeah. and instead of having to wire those all back to a central location or or different individual sensors on this, we could take all those devices right into a, a module like our PowerG hardwire and, uh, and, and, and make the installation so much easier. Yeah, and I think. Hey, know, Whitney, hold on, hold, hold on, Whitney. So, yeah, just to expand on what Gary had said, don't forget, end of February, four zone expanders on each of those modules. Do not forget that. So, Which is zones. huge, right? Yes, it's huge. We are going to have more, uh, more webinars as we lead up to that. So, if you guys are interested about commercial application or learning more about this uh, IQ PowerG hardwire device we will be headlining that. So make sure you are in those webinars and look for invites for those other ones as well. Um, I, Oops, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. <laughs> Let me go back. So I went to ISC West two years ago where we announced um, IQ Panel 2 Plus, which had all of the different SRFs and uh, <clears throat> with all the different colored boxes and everything like that. And I think, I was a little bit ignorant to how impactful that could be for a dealer where you've got the same panel, the same protocol, install protocol, a whole nine yards, and you have a solution for any kind of scenario you walk into just, just about, right? You've, if they've got Honeywell devices, we can help with that. If they have two gig devices, we can help with that. If they've got hardwired devices, devices now, with the help of this IQ Hardwire Power G, we can help with that. And it's all the same installation process protocol. And I, 
the way that dealers responded to that, I think I was kind of shocked by because <laughs> I, I had underestimated. And I mean, Mark and as Neil, I think you're on as well. I think you guys can test, give testament to how many different panels you needed to know in order to do an install or a service call and the amount of time of training and things like that. I just, I was blown away. And IQ Panel 4 does the same thing, right? With all the different frequencies and now opening up the hardwire uh, avenue is, is huge. Any, any scenario you walk into that needs an upgrade or you just want to use devices that are on site and save your cost for peripherals, you can do that. If you wanna upgrade their peripherals and use Power G and leverage range um, uh, encryption and just the battery life, all of those different things using Power G, it works with that too. Like <laughs> you're getting, with, when it comes to using IQ Panel 4 in an upgrade scenario, you're not only opening up feature sets and benefits to customers in the future as well as today, but you're also making it easier on your staff, on your business, it's cost effective, remote access if they've got issues or troubles going off. Like, I just totally underestimated it. So, when talking to those dealers was like, I get it now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, that was my experience. But, Jerry, you asked a question about um, you don't know the path to upgrade. And I, you know, I don't think you're alone in that. And even if you guys are in the midst of going through the 3G to 4G upgrade process, we can help. We very much want you guys to feel like we're a partner. And hopefully over the last few webinars, you've kind of felt that, that we're more than just a manufacturer that's telling you, oh, use our stuff, use our stuff. It's great. And then we leave you alone to it. We want to make sure we provide more support in whatever capacity you need. So I'm going to show you guys, hopefully you're already familiar with the dealer portal. If you're not, put it in the chat and we can go through that. But um. I'm on qualsys.com here. I'm just going to click on the dealer button and I'm going to log in to my account. Well, I'm already logged in. But if you don't have an account, you can register. And this opens up a whole bunch of marketing materials that our marketing team has built uh, by ourselves with other dealers that we've partnered with. So if you come to downloads and go to residential, all of these are for your use. However you want to use it, social media, email campaigns, uh, door knocking, whatever you want in whatever capacity, they're there for you. Um, if you need help rebranding or anything like that, we can definitely evaluate if we can assist you in that. So you can always reach out to us. Again, partnership here. And um, as you scroll down, there should be, so look, there's door hangers, all kinds of different things. And again, the colors you're seeing, the logos you're seeing can be interchanged. Um, if you scroll all the, the way videos, down, Whitney, are a great way to tell tell the story on what we're talking about here with, with these, these value-added features for the consumer. I think it's a great way. Take some time, register with the site, and look over these videos because I think this tells the story that you guys are, 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 are trying to explain to your customers. I think this is... This is where it's at, and you can put these these on your websites. You can link them to emails. You can do all kinds of stuff. And I know I know in many cases that I deal with on a daily basis, Whitney and her team's there to help out, making sure that goes smooth for us. So, yeah, yeah we've definitely. I mean, we've invested in building out, telling the story, right, and making sure that the features that we use aren't only good in our heads, but good in a use case scenario. And we want to try to bring it to life. And we want you guys to be able to leverage that as well. Um, so videos, we have these little short uh, animation videos, but we've also got email and social media campaigns. And here you're gonna find upgrade email campaigns that we've already built. Oh, it's gonna download. But you can, it'll give you the HTML code and you drop it into your email system and you've got the shell of an email specifically designed for upgrades. And we even have it for devices as well. So if you're in the midst of upgrading or you're just like, oh, well, my old, my my legacy, we'll say, customer base is using an outdated door sensor. We have upgrade device campaigns for things like that as well. Um, the other thing that we can do using IQ Panel is DIY, right? 
uh, at the beginning of the pandemic and quarantine, we leveraged that a lot with social distance installs. And we even created um, do-it-yourself guides for customers and things like that. So, I mean, let's face it, Jerry, you're a great example. And thank you for commenting. You've got a big customer base that you've got to upgrade, right? What better way to, than to do that than to figure out who's a DIYer in your customer base and having them help you out with completing the install so you don't have to roll a truck, pay a tech, all that. So we've definitely built some things out that you guys can leverage. If you feel like you still don't know where you want to go with it, reach out to us. We're happy to set up a call and talk you through it and say, well, here's what we suggest. Here's what other dealers have done. Or you can say, I have this idea but I want to make sure it would work. We are more than happy to be here and to say, yes, I think that's a great idea. Here's how we can do it and help you get through it, all of that. So you're not alone when it comes to trying to tackle upgrading. It can be daunting. It can feel like so much, but we, I mean, and Gary will tell you, we, we try really hard to make sure you feel like we're a partner and not just a manufacturer that's going to leave you on your way. Gary, do you have yeah, any? Ab ab absolutely. It's 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 all about the partnership, right? I mean, you know, it's our job to make sure you guys have the the technology and and the resources to grow, right? So let us know what we can help out with. We're 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 all about learning and and educating. So yes, uh, we're just about at time, which is perfect. Um, thank you guys again for joining. The next couple of weeks, we're going to be talking about Power G in residential and commercial installs. So um, I can't remember the, what the titles are of the marketing workshops off the top of my head, but we are doing a big uh, co commercial webinar for dealers on February, I think it's going to be the 16th. And I'll send out the invite for that. So keep on your emails, join in. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Do you have anything else to add, Gary? No, I'm good. We appreciate it. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys out in the field. If you guys need anything, let's let's get let's get together and 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 talk through it and get you guys the solutions you need. Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you guys so much. I appreciate your time. Bye.